Hey, wonderful Recycling Community. Today we are in Bogota and we came to visit Onda Sostenibile. This is a project that started off as precious plastic and now moved on to more industrial processing and production. And now we're focusing on our pet and recycled yarns to make 100% recycled garments. So today we first gonna learn how it all started in this little workshop behind me. And then we're gonna go to the factory where they make their recycled garments. So this morning we're heading off to meet Juan from Onda Sostenibile. And today I'm very interested to learn how Precious Plastic this time was the starting point rather than the end point of his career. Que pasó un buen día, chao. Hey man. Hey man. Good how morning. Yeah, welcome. I'm Juan from Onda Sostenible. We're in Bogota. This is my workshop. Welcome. When I wanted to build a workshop, some relatives have this house. This is uh, my workshop. It's not operating at the time, but this is where all, it all started three years ago. I had a extruder pro. In that corner, I had a shredder pro. And this, the manual injector. With this, we operated as a mixed workshop. We mainly produced the plant pots, the hexagonal tight carabiniers. With what I sold of the business I had, I found some guy here in Bogota that he made the machines. While they were building it, the pandemic came. And when I received the machines, it was uh, everything closed, everyone inside. I couldn't start right, right away the business, but uh, it helped me to get to know the machines. Then, well, the pandemic sort of ended and uh, everything started opening a little and I could start selling the products. Our best product was the plant pot. So I kind of focused in, in that. With, I did it with the, with the extruder. Actually, here's the, um, here's the mold. Well, we worked like that for a while, and then uh, I remember in one December, where we sold uh, a lot of plant pots, I started struggling with the process because I, I, I'm here by myself, and uh, I couldn't make enough. I started getting to know the more industrial part of the plastic business, the bigger injectors, it's also everything recycled, but being able to optimize the process and get bigger volumes. Those years, uh, my focus was on getting the best product I, I could. After that, uh, last year, I was really curious about the textile uh, recycling. I started investigating about PET, how they extrude it into yarn and the yarn into textile. And uh, what I found really amazed me. I, I was lucky enough, uh, one family friend uh, had a, a factory, like traditional textile factory. And he was kind enough to let me get to know the machines, how they work, because you can use the same machines you use for traditional textile to fit them with sustainable uh, materials and make sustainable uh, fabric. Here we are, probably in one of the best backdrop that I've ever had. And today I'm really, really interested to learn about the story of Juan because it's a bit of a different one. Uh, in his case, precious plastic, rather than being the end goal or the end point, uh, was kind of the beginning, right? Yeah. Precious plastic uh, helped Juan to start getting into the whole recycling movement. And now he's moved on to recycled textile, which is something that precious plastic doesn't do. So we also gonna go and visit the factory and learn a little bit about the transition from precious plastic into more industrial processing and how he's making a business from recycling plastic here in Bogota. All right, so here we are. We arrived in the factory where the Onda Sustainable t-shirts are made. So now Juan is gonna give us a little tour to understand how the whole process works and there's any learning for the precious plastic community. Okay, here's the machine. It's a traditional textile machine. The only thing that changes is the yarn. We replace the traditional yarn with the pet yarn and the machine, uh, it does the rest, starts making the fabric and it ends, uh, ends up being a, a roll, which we use to make our clothing. We're actually working with B2B. We sell the clothing to other companies. We also offer them to get their pet waste. And we receive the pet, the same amount we're gonna use in the clothing, and we process it in our recycle center. We give back the same amount they gave us, turn into the clothes they're gonna use. Okay, so that's it with this video. Thank you very much, Juan and Onda Sustainable for showing us around. It was a bit of a different one from usual, but I really hope that it shows you how precious plastic sometimes it can be the beginning of something bigger. And my hope is that these can really inspire many of you wherever you live in the world to start something similar. Until next time, ciao!